Scott McGrath finally got the heat back on after Sandy wrecked his Staten Island home, but he's still freezing because he has no wall. Scott, how are you dealing with all this? Very hard, you know. Um, I'm actually still running electric heaters. Behind me, you can actually see a contractor's uh, blower that's blowing heat while I do some work down here. And it's amazing because, you know, it's still like day one. It's still like day one because we have a, a gas and electric. You know, it's still not helping. We're still cold out here. Actually, my wife has been and me have been sleeping in sweatpants with three blankets with the heat on upstairs and electric heaters just to keep warm. Uh, I came down last night and actually read one of the thermometers. It was 19 degrees down here with the heat on. Not with the electric heat, it's just with my plane heat on. It was 19 degrees in my house. Hey, hey Scott, let me jump in here a little bit. What do, what do you think when uh, 10 days ago the House passed $50 billion aid for you, um, yet it's, it's being held up in the Senate? What do, you, what do you want to say to these senators? You know, it's a shame. They go home at night and they should be ashamed of themselves. They should think of us as family. We're American citizens here. We're not a third world country. It's amazing that you would bail out some other country before you would help your own. We're supposed to be the United States of America. You're supposed to be taking care of your own. But you send foreign aid and you send emergency rescue to these other countries that had hurricanes, earthquakes, and stuff like that. But you're forgetting your own taxpayers. You're forgetting your own people. Wake up. These, these people are like your family. We vote for you. I hope when election time comes that you're up for election and they boot you out in the cold. And, and Scott, there were a bunch of lawmakers who used the uh, aftermath of the hurricane for a photo op. They walked around. I think you actually met a couple of them. Is that right? What do you, what do you have to say to them? I met I met uh, Governor Cuomo, big phony. He has not said one thing to stick up for the New York people. I hope when election comes, the New York people remember that Mar uh, Andrew Cuomo did not help us and they booed him out. And as for our president, shame on you. You went away to Hawaii while I, my neighbors, and the middle class and the victims of Sandy were freezing had no place to go for the holidays, but you used our tax dollars to take your family away to go play ball and have a good time while my family did not get to spend Christmas here. It's the first one in 10 years that I did not spend Christmas in my house. I had to go to my sister's house to eat. My kids weren't home. My daughter didn't come home. But you, Mr. President, went away and got to enjoy yourself, and you have lied to the American public. I have asked you to come back here to Staten Island to tell us why you broke your promise. You know where I live. You made a promise. You look me eye to eye. I will look you eye to eye right now and say, President Obama, come back to Staten Island and talk to the victims and tell us why you're not helping like you promised. All right, Scott, we have to leave it there. Um, we're going to say a prayer for you. Hope we get, we get uh, get this aid through the Senate and get it to you guys as soon as possible. Scott McGrath, thank you very much.